This Eco East boxcar is now motionless, wedged in between two freight cars. It's practically guaranteed not to start rolling. But yesterday, just as this boxcar and another were about to be coupled together, the Eco East car started to roll. As the boxcar gained momentum, it rolled out of this Norfolk Southern switching station. And with the conductor still holding on, trying to get the brakes to hold, the lone boxcar began making its way across the James River. Charlie Mitchell was one of the first to see the boxcar after it crossed the James. We saw the gate going down here at the road, and uh, but we didn't hear any horn coming. Uh, I could hear him yelling, is the other door open? And he was yelling that to us first as he was coming through the intersection, rolling through. And it's good the gates went down because you couldn't hear no horn, and the cars, it would have run into some cars. Mitchell estimates the boxcar was going about 30 miles per hour when it hit the gate. Today, a warning label placed on the boxcar warns of a defective handbrake. City officials say the crew working on the gate followed the book in getting the gate closed. We will take a look at to see if there are any steps that we could do to prevent a reoccurrence of this, but uh, right off the top of the head, I don't know of anything that we could do. City officials say there appears to be no damage to the flood wall itself, but still don't know if the gate can be reused. In Richmond, Wayne Coble, WTVR News Channel 6.